Charles Wesley famously wrote some 5,000 hymns. Not all were great, and not all were even good. Some were written for their particular time and no longer apply now. But good hymns stand the test of time, as has Jesus, lover of my soul. Charles Wesley wrote this hymn shortly after his conversion experience in 1738, and it was first published in 1740 with the title of In Temptation. Charles' brother John was not too fond of this hymn. He didn't like the title, and he found the language too introspective and pietistic, and that's been a concern which has been shared by hymnal, hymnal editors uh, through, the, through the centuries. The opening line, Jesus, lover of my soul, is reminiscent of medieval mystical literature, uh, as may be found in Thomas a Kempis or the Apocryphal Book of Wisdom. But it's not a bad text. Consider stanza two. Other refuge have I none, hangs my helpless soul on thee. Leave, ah, leave me not alone, still support and comfort me. All my trust on thee is stayed, all my help from thee I bring. Cover my defenseless head with the shadow of thy wing. The tune is named Aberystwyth, after the town in Wales in which the composer, Joseph Perry, was living at the time. Born poor, Perry eventually became a univers university professor in Wales and he died in 1903. Perry composed oratorios, cantatas, and opera, orchestral and chamber music, as well as some 400 hymn tunes. Now, in the third season of the Queen Elizabeth biography, the, the Crown, one episode quite faithfully depicts a really terrible tragedy. In 1966, in Aberfan, Wales, a mining accident caused a mountain to slide into a school, killing over 100 children. This episode depicts quite faithfully the townspeople mourning, singing this hymn at the grave of the children, and that actually happened. Hymns that focus on Christ can console us in times of tragedy and praise alike.